Hello, I'm Lisa Marie for OK Nigeria TV, and today we're at the London Hilton Hotel for the John U. Tucker Foundation. Hi Mark, how are you? I'm alright. So, how did you get involved with the John U. Tucker Foundation? Well, I'm a comedian, and um, like I said earlier on, the John U. Tucker Foundation thought that, okay, if we bring MC Mark, comedian, into the picture, um, basically I'll create the atmosphere because you don't get people giving money and smiling. But okay, let's bring the MC Mark, make people laugh, relax, so that the atmosphere will not be by compulsion. It will be compelling, it will be relaxing. So they are getting entertained and then they are giving money. Before you know it, if someone wants to give maybe like 20,000 grand before, they will just double it. <laughs> so basically, that's why um, I came in as a comedian. It's a sense of pride to have a fellow Nigerian starting up, starting up his foundation. What does it mean to you? It means a lot, you know. I think to be to to work so hard you know the one thing that I live by is that the only thing great than achieving is inspiring so to be able to start a foundation that will help other people it's a huge thing and I think that's what is a good thing to be able to come here and support our fellow teammate in in what he's doing in helping other people so it's a good it's a good thing that I'm glad to be here tonight unfortunately you've been injured for most of the season how are you doing now are you do you think you'll be in the next season yeah, everybody you know nobody worries about um, next season now you know at the end of the day we are here now to try and keep the club the team up whether you're playing or not I've been fit now for the last couple of weeks and I'm just working on my fitness to keep my shape in this is a proud moment for a Nigerian footballer to be starting such a great foundation what are your thoughts on it I think it's a good thing I think um, you know the new uh, footballers have started to get foundation and put something back into society we're very proud of them um, John Otaka is somebody who's really respected in Nigeria and I'm sure this will impact uh, as a whole um, in, in Nigeria. It's, it's a good thing, it's a great thing. Hi John Utaka, how are you this evening? Good, thank you. What inspired you to start the John Utaka Foundation? Um, it was after the World Cup, uh, I went to visit a hospital in Lagos and then I found that it was a bit emotional when I went there because most of the children are they, 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 ha uh, physically handicapped and most of them are really, really not in a good condition. So I said, look, if I'm in a position to be able to offer something, why not? And it's as simple as that. That's why I said, okay, I have to put things together, make sure that I help them. How important do you feel the John Utaka Foundation has been for young people in Nigeria and overseas? I think um, so far uh, so good because in Africa we've started already uh, some you know uh, charitable works trying to help them as much as we can. That's why we say uh, I said it's better to also launch it in the UK. Try to assemble people, let them know what we are up to, uh, and then I think for now things are going well, and I hope to you know uh, expand it as much as I can. Have you got any plans to make the John Utaka Foundation more global? Yes, with the help of you guys and everybody, make it visible for everybody to know what we're doing. Because I can't do it alone, that's why I need everybody. How important do you feel the John Utaka Foundation will be coming to Nigeria and helping children there and across the world? It's a big uh, milestone for the football fans, in particular in Nigeria. And I'm glad to be here when I, when I come to it. Uh, I believe uh, this is what, where we feel we blow, um, develop the family, the football family in turn. So it's a very big milestone. Hello May 7, how are you? Wow. You were looking absolutely beautiful today. Thank you very much, thank you so much. I love the outfit. <laughs> what inspired you for this? Um, this is made by my designer, Susan Lucci. She makes all my accessories, glasses, most of the outrageous outfits that I wear. And because of this whole evening standing thing about um, the queen of Afro beats, whatever, now I'm embracing it and now I'm trying to dress like a queen. So that's the, um, the theme of tonight. We're loving the 1010 video. I love it. It's great. What have you got planned tonight? Right from here, I'm going to Proud too, um, with um, Atul Pan, DJ Brenty, Mars B, Vibe, Vibe Squad, all performing under one roof. So yeah, it's going to be a very busy night. I will be incredibly tired, and it's my birthday at 12 midnight. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you so much, thank you. I'm really excited. So it's going to be a party and a, perform a great performance, hopefully. So, yeah.